Good morning. Welcome to Locomotive Workout number 38 of the pandemic. That's right, number 38. I can't believe it. We will hit 40 workouts. We'll hit 41 workouts this week, actually. Pretty amazing. So here we are. We've got the studio audience and anyone now picking up and watching this on demand. So here we go. We have a high intensity workout for today. We're going to do eight moves, 20 seconds each, 10 seconds off. We'll do those eight times. So do I have that? I think I have eight moves. So that's a lot of work. So a lot of high intensity work, 20 second interval, super hard. Boom, 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 boom. You get 10 seconds to try and bring your heart rate down or just catch a moment of recovery just to let your body uh, flood with a little recovery and then jump right back into it. And I'll try to give us about a minute off between sets of each workout. So here we go. Let's start with a warm up. Stand tall, set your foundation, set your foundation. So that means from the ground up, we're going to build that foundation, flatten those feet, point those toes forward, kind of tilt those inner thighs in, engage through your abdominals, take your right, come up on your right toe, fill your left leg all the way up to your glute with concrete. And we're going to open up and out, out and back. So we'll do this 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, keep engaged, three, two, one, and set that foundation. Start by sticking that right leg, flatten those arches, come up on your left toe, engage your abdominals, and out and back, out and back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, come on up, engage both those legs, push your hips forward. So I'm gonna come out to the side, push your hips forward. So you got this little back bend here and we're gonna make big hip circles for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and other direction. Really lead with your hips rather than your upper body. So push those hips forward and 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, active legs, three, active abdominals, two, one. All right, standing tall, flatten those arches, engage those legs. You can bring those feet a little bit closer together, maybe hip distance apart. And you're gonna slide your right hand down your leg and lift your left arm. So we make this nice crescent moon here and back, other direction. And you wanna try and really reach. Reach down towards those ankles. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and cross one arm over the other. Start moving around your mat. Abdominals are engaged. Core is active. Good. And we're going to do shuffles. So we go. So. Thirty seconds in this way, little boxer shuffles. Up on the balls of those feet. Elbows high. Five, four, three, two, one, and now feet forward and back.
Nice and light on the balls of those feet. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. And trunk twists. Come up on the ball of that back foot. Really twisting from the base of that spine all the way up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, good. Activate that left leg from the, from the uh, soles of your feet, from your arches, all the way up to your glute. And sweep that right foot up and back. You want to squeeze those left leg, those muscles up and down your left leg for a good foundation. Find a focal point somewhere on the ground, maybe three feet in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're going to go to the other side. All right, squeeze that right leg. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, set a nice wide base. Good, strong, solid triangle here. Toes pointed forward, and we're gonna go side lunge and a reach. So come back and reach, and as we're back, you really pull your butt back, sit back on that right heel, extend through that left leg into the inner thigh, and back and forth. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, nice and low, three, two, and one. All right. So, Come on down into a bear crawl pose. Knees about one inch above the ground. And we walk forward to the end of our mat. And we walk back. Fifteen more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, good time for a drink. Movement prep is over. Movement prep is over. So now we're gonna get into the main set. Our first exercise will be a push-up to plank bird dog. So get a quick drink and I will show you what this looks like. This is a tricky one. So if the push-up part is too much, then you're going to take that out and just work on the balance and the mobility. That's really kind of a theme today. There'll be a good bit of kind of balance and stability and stabilization work. So Push up bird dog will look like this. You'll come down, lift your left leg and right hand, left hand, right leg. All right, so you push up and then you move right into that, right into that bird dog pose. So we're gonna get started in 20, actually 15 seconds. We'll get started in 15 seconds. So have your drink, 
just kind of warm up your shoulders a little bit more here. Start focusing on your internal core here, on those inner abdominals. Come down, get ready to go, and push up, go, you're in it. Full body activation here. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we have seven more of those. Seven more. And here we go. Oh, that was sloppy. And knees down, knees down. So six more, six more of those. Three, two, one, here we go. And knees down. Five more. So I should be waking everything up. I'm starting to breathe pretty heavily here. And here we go. Really sloppy, Brian. Three. Two, one. So if your moves are getting sloppy, don't be hard on yourself. You're practicing progress rather than perfection. And number four, go. And knees down. Set three. Coming up. These go fast. And go. Three. Two, one, set two, two to go, three, two, one. And Knees down. Last one coming up. Last one in this series. And three, two, one. Here we go. Make it count. Three, two, and one. Okay, we are done with the push-up bird dogs. Quick drink. That was four minutes of work. So each one of these, each one of these sets is four minutes of intensity. And we just do the best we can. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Let your heart rate come back down. Good time to get a drink. Now we're gonna hop down onto our backs for an abdominal move. And let me just show you that. This will be an opposite hand to opposite foot. Arms are out, we reach up across our body. So we'll start, just go right hand, left foot on the first set, left hand, right foot on the second set. Let's get ready to go in four, three, 
two, one. Reach across, exhale to come up. <sighs> exhale. <sighs> Both legs are super active. Make those muscles work. <sighs> Three, two, one. All right. Now we're going to go left hand to right foot. Come on back. And three, two, go. This side is much harder for me. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, next. Right hand, left foot. Squeeze those abdominals. Three, two, one. Fire it up. Total body workout here. Trying to hit as many muscle groups as we can. And stop. We're gonna switch sides. Keep those legs active in this rest phase. Three, two, one. Try not to clench your jaw or your neck. Three, two, one. Okay, halfway through this set. Going back to the right side. Keep those legs active in this rest phase and exhale, go. Engage your full core here. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. Keep them working on your way back. Three, two, one. Set number three. Three to go, sorry, set three to go. And go. Legs are active. And lie back. Two more sets to go. Three, two, one. And last one coming up. Four. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, that is it for that opposite hand to opposite foot reach. That's what we're gonna do there. We're gonna have a quick drink and we're gonna come up for eight sets of 20 seconds of good high intensity jumping jacks. Again, plyometric, full body move. So that one, that last move wasn't so high intensity so we can move a little bit more quickly here. We're gonna have a smaller transition and we'll start our jumping jacks. Straight arm, three, two, one. Here we go, nice and quick. Keep those arms straight. Nice and quick. Balls of your feet. Stay light, three, two, one. Okay. Four, three, 
two, one. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, three, two, one. This is number three of eight. Quick, quick. Three, two, one. Woo! This will wake us up. Number four, coming up, and go. Try to keep those arms straight, working on shoulder mobility in this as well. All the way up, hand to hand if you can, and stop. All right. Set five, coming up. This should feel like some intensity now. Go. Stop. Set six is coming up. These will wake you up, won't they? And go. Quick, quick, quick. Three. Two, one. <sighs> one more to go. Last one coming up. I think I lost count, but. Whatever, if we go one over, it's okay. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, walk it off. Walk it off. Woo. That is, that is a nice morning wake up. Okay, I'll be feeling those later. So, we're gonna come back down to the mat. We're gonna point our legs up, shoot through our heels, with our legs lifted, we're gonna do some crunches, all right? Leg, lifted leg crunches. Really get into those abdominals. Focusing on form rather than speed. I mean, yes, it's high intensity work, but I want the form to be there before the speed gets there. So we're gonna lie back, feet will go up, hands behind our head, elbows open. From your abdominals, you'll crunch up and down. I want you to set your form, set your foundation by really sticking, gluing the the low back, the small of your back into the ground. So we're gonna go in 10 seconds. We'll put those feet up here. Feet go up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Really squeeze those abdominals. Stick the small of your back into the ground. 10 seconds. Push those heels. Active legs. 
and feet down. Come back into a resting pose. And feet go up. And go. So pushing through those, pushing through those heels. Keeping my shoulders off the mat mostly. Three, two, one. Okay. Set number three. Feet up and go. Uh, uh, three, two, one. Knees down. Set number four is coming up. Four. Feet up. <clears throat> Go. Push to those heels. <sighs> Squeeze those inner abdominals. Build this core work from the inside out. And feet down. Set number five is coming up. We're going into set five. In three, two, one. Push those heels. Four, three, Two, one. Set number six. Starts in three, two, go. Uh, really reach. Really activate those abdominals. Lower and upper abs. Feet down. Set number seven is coming up. We're on to number seven. How are those abs feeling? Mine are really starting to burn. And go. Push in those heels. Three. Two, one. All right, set number eight is coming up. It's our. And go. Uh. And. That is it for those lifted leg crunches. We're gonna grab a quick drink, then we're gonna move into cobra push-ups. So it's not a full, it's not a full push-up, it's somewhere along the lines of a yoga push-up. Uh, and let me have a drink and then I will demonstrate that for you. And this is a great alternative. The Cobra push-up is a great alternative to a chair dip, which, as I've said before, is not my favorite move, not an ideal way to work on that tricep shoulder complex, uh, but sometimes it's the best we've got. So we're going to use this one instead. I'm going to spread my thumb and fingers apart, press back into down dog, and then keep my elbows in by my side, roll it forward, and I stay on my toes, come back, Roll it forward, come back. All right, so we're staying up on those toes. We're not coming down onto the tops of our feet. We're staying up. We're trying to get our chest as close to the ground as we possibly can. So I'll face you first. We're going to get started in four, three, two, one. Here we go. <sighs> <sighs> Set 
Spread those fingertips, the elbows stay close to the body. If you get tired, hang out in, down dog. Three, two, one. Okay, set number one. We only have seven more of those. Three, two, one. <sighs> Elbows need to stay in really close to the body. Chest just hovers above the ground on the way through. Three, two, one. So, a lot of work in the shoulders, a lot of work in those triceps. Three, two, one. Now from the side, you can see abdominals are engaged here. Strong core work, low back, spinal muscles are active, really putting in work. Three, two, one. Set number four is coming up. Three, two, one. Oh. 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 Active core, active body, every muscle working here, <clears throat> knees down. Five, set number five. And go. Look forward, roll forward. If your triceps, if your body's really tired, hang out in plank, hang out in down dog, and take a break. Number six is coming up. Number six in three, two, one. Here we go. Look forward, roll forward. <sighs> Spread those fingers. Spread those thumbs away from your hand. Foundation really starts with a strong connection, your hands to the mat and knees down. Number seven's coming up. And here we go, so number seven. Squeeze those legs, work them here. And knees down. Last one. Here we go. Three, two, one. Keep practicing your good form here. Just because you may be tired doesn't mean we let go of the form. When we're tired, it's a perfect time to double down on form. And that's it for Cobra push-ups. That is it for Cobra push-ups. We are now into the last move, the last move of the day. And we're gonna do break dancers, also known by me as Beastie Boys. So you start out in a plank, you come out in a plank, you shoot your left leg through, drop your left hip to the ground, push your way back up and rotate out. So you wanna get that hip drop, you're putting a lot of weight on this uh, planted foundational arm. So you wanna activate all those tiny muscles around your wrist, all the little tiny muscles going around your elbow, all the little major and minor muscles around your shoulder to really, to really keep yourself stabilized. This is about stability, stabilization, control, controlled movement. So we get started in four, three, two, one. You drop that hip, 
kick that leg up. Three, two, one. That was rep one of these. Number two is coming up. In three, two, one. Keep that body super active. Kick that leg through by pointing to your heel. Glutes are active here. Knees down. Number three is coming up. In three, two, one. Here we go. Woohoo! There we go. I just fell down on that one. This is where you learn to let your body adjust for the fatigue. There should be a lot of fatigue. Three, two, one. Set. Four, three, two, one. Get into that plank and go. There goes my trusty production assistant. Three, two, and one. Knees down. Three more, 60 seconds. 60 seconds of work. And come on up and go. Abdominals are active. Glutes are active. Legs are active. Spine is active. Three, two, one. Two more. Two more of these. We go in three, two, one. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, last one. That's it. Last one. Three, two, one. Make it count. Keep that good form through the fatigue. If you have to slow down your tempo, slow it down. Four, three, two, one. Knees down. Okay. That is the end of the hit work that we've got going on today. We've done push up to bird dog, opposite hand to opposite foot, jumping jacks, uh, uh, some other thing in there. Oh, we missed one. We didn't do plank hip taps, but we did lifted leg crunches, cobra push ups, and break dancers. So, not quite as many as I thought we were going to get to, but we still got to a lot. Uh, so, Thank you for watching. Thank you for working out along. If you like it, please keep coming back for more and see you soon.